So yeah, back in Chicago about that life. And um, it's a little sunny out, but I'm laughing because I literally just came from the whole food, health food store, not Whole Foods, but to the health food store. And I'm laughing because it's really an illusion that we have to live in this kind of like isolated state. So I just pretty much went to the health food store and purchased every freaking thing that I had on my list to make my own acai bowl. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I had acai bowls a couple of mornings while I was in Miami just a few days ago. And I just refused to come back to Chicago and live my life as if I've never been on vacation. To me, that's the joy of traveling is taking a piece of your vacation with you. And so as far as I'm concerned, um, I just had to find myself in that space. Now, what does that mean as it relates to uh, my diet or, you know, as it relates to what it is that I eat and the seasonal, you know, aspects of it? What it pretty much means to me is just find yourself in a position to have what it is that you need where you are. Make everywhere your home, right? So my home is no different being right here in Chicago as it is being in Miami as it was being in Bali as it was being many other places that I've traveled. And that home has to be cultivated. That home is not merely, um, you know, just this concept or this idea of what it is that's possible, but it's, it's definitely something that you take with you wherever you are. You carry home with you. Um, you find the things that feel like home and you reproduce them in your new market or in your new area. And that has been a very dope practice to me. I have Balinese statues surrounding my bed. I have artwork that was created um, through some of my travels and my consciousness through some of my travels that I have in, in my room to give me energy. And I definitely find myself in a position of constantly reminding myself where I've been, what it's meant, and how what it's meant has affected me being where I am. Now, I, I do know for a fact that, you know, Chicago is one of those places that I'm going to have to eventually move on from. And I don't know how soon or, you know, to where, but I've definitely gotten enough under my belt to know that um, Chicago's landscape is great for certain things but since my lifestyle is all about feeding my soul and it is me showing in various ways that my soul is being fed sun is part of what feeds my soul and there's just not enough of it in Chicago there's just not enough time so what do I suggest on this week's tools for the soul in order to promote um, a beautiful sense of belongingness I really suggest that one you take a piece of where you've been with you and bring it home you know you cultivate home wherever you are you find out the things in different places you travel as a journey as an experiment you travel to find out what you're missing because if we believe in the full principle of namaste and we believe that the universe is abundant and big and wide and vast then there is no separation between you know where we go and we connect to to where we are and what we connect to the only difference is environment and circumstances and since those can be changed we have to cultivate those and change those as we see fit um, another idea that I have is simply finding yourself in everything you experience so if you go somewhere and you see somebody and be like man that person's spirit is rocking it doesn't mean you swagger jack I mean you, you act just like that person but you definitely finding yourself how to embody in your way the qualities you admire in others and it will attract others and will attract experience from those others and those are really the top three tools that I have because those are really uber important as it relates to you know uh, pulling your soul inside out you know um, I'm sitting here wondering why I have this dope ass tan underneath the sweater jacket but I refuse to put on you know the extra layers it's pretty nice outside today and I just wanted to find myself in a more um, satisfied state where I felt more satisfied about what it is that I'm up to so yeah this is Stacy Patrice uh, on the go uh, hump day edition of tools for the soul I hope you enjoyed um, I'm about to go home and make a smashing 
uh, acai bowl, uh, like I'm in Miami or like someone is serving me. I made a specific trip out of the house to go get the ingredients and it's about to be slamming. It has no other choice. So I will probably post some video on that in case you're interested. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening today. StacyPatrice.com as always. Uh, you are definitely welcome to come forth and share your comments right here underneath this video and definitely welcome to send me an inbox, send me a message wherever you see fit when you see that things are, you know, in that space. Okay. Thanks again. Peace, love, blessings. Namaste. Ashe. Peace. Love y'all.